So hey, it's Jordan, the Ancient Literature Dude, and I want to talk about poetry today. More specifically, I want to let you all know that going forward, I intend to talk about it a little bit more in depth on this channel. You have seen me recite it, in some cases translate it or whatever, do funny things with it, but I want to actually start talking about it, uh, giving my view about it, analyzing particular poems or whatever. And specifically, I'm very often going to be focusing on the formal elements of poetry. And what I mean by that is that where these things apply, I'm going to be discussing how poetry uses things like meter and rhyme and other verbal techniques like assonance and alliteration and whatever else uh, may constitute recognizable poetic techniques uh, in an attempt to both raise awareness of these things uh, and just to sort of share my love of them. Because I think that with the advent of the free verse movement, especially in the 20th century and the move away from more traditional verse, there has been something of a loss of awareness and appreciation of the art form of formal poetry, which of course for centuries was practiced in various cultures, not just in English, of course, uh, but in practically every world culture. And I find the almost complete dismissal of these formal elements in uh, more academically and even popularly acceptable verse to be a little bit alarming. Because for one thing, at least in my view, there seems to be a kind of a prevailing attitude that formal poetry or the practice of it and even the appreciation of it is or at least can be somewhat elitist or even classist or whatever. And I don't necessarily think that that's true or it's certainly not always true. And I find it interesting because those same observations aren't made about popular music or even somewhat more highly regarded, more critically highly regarded music, um, where a lot of those elements are still very much in effect. Uh, popular music often uses rhyme, very uh, straightforward rhyme. The lyrics often conform to a relatively steady meter because let's face it, the music does. People don't tend to listen to music that is without form, uh, completely free. People are drawn to music that has a recognizable beat, a meter, it, and it's usually in a very predictable one, like 3-4 or 4-4, four, four, if you're familiar with music theory. And so I find that dichotomy to be somewhat interesting, that people are intellectually opposed to the practice of formal poetry, but they find a lot of the same elements of that same poetry acceptable in their popular music, or again, even in fairly critically well-regarded music. So in any event, I'm old fashioned when it comes to poetry. You may have noticed on the channel that that's the kind of stuff that I like to read. Uh, I don't you know, make any bones about it. Um, and I want to always explore the hidden corners of that verse to show how diverse it can be, to show how powerful it has been across widely different cultures. Um, as a native English speaker, my focus is usually on English language poetry uh, in terms of what personally moves me, what I'm most comfortable reciting anyway. But of course, as you know, I like to read verse and literature from other languages as well. And I want to raise awareness of those things along with standard traditional English uh, poetic techniques. So in short, I want to examine in future videos on this channel what makes formal poetry so powerful and compelling and beautiful and also so memorable because part of it is in my mind that this is a large part of the art that we've lost uh, a part of why I don't find most modern verse to be as memorable and I think that there is a reason that we still study and cherish things like the Epic of Gilgamesh and the Iliad and Beowulf and the Poetic Edda and it's because these things strike at something that we find recognizable in the human heart 
things that we respond to and appreciate and anticipate in the reading, in the telling, uh, by these great poets of the past and also hopefully of the present, uh, where I hope that people are still creating formal poetry and that it will endure in much the same way that it has in the past. Uh, but in any event, um, you know, just wanted to let you all know what you can expect from me going forward. And as usual, I hope you're doing well and taking care and I will talk to you later.